Then you probably heard not too long ago on 60 Minutes, Anderson Cooper was talking to Cameron and uh, said, you know, what's the story about snitching, that it's not, it's not something that you do in the neighborhood? What's great about this is you're going to see, along with that interview, intercut into it, um, one of the guys that Usala Alim talked to who said, man, he's got it all wrong. That's not why people don't snitch in the neighborhood. When I was coming up, it applied to me and my boys. When we did a crime together, if one of us get busted, we didn't tell on the other one. If you had seen who shot you, would you have told police? No. Somebody does something with somebody in your family, you ain't going to snitch. All right, if you ain't going to snitch, then that means that you have to get at that Whoever did that to that person, you have to get him. I was raised differently not to tell. You didn't snitch because you didn't want the police to get him because you wanted to get him. It wasn't you. That, wow. That makes all the sense in the world, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And then a couple of people got that confused and said, well, you don't snitch because you just don't want to talk to the cops. Or you don't want to, you know. No. No, it's... you'd rather get them because if they go to the cops, then they're going to go to jail. and No, no, no. They won't get what really is coming their way. You want them You want them tied up in a room somewhere as you're feeding them parts of, uh, you know, themselves. themselves. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I can think of a couple in, 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 the, in between. That makes all the sense in the world. What's great about it is there's this guy talking about it. And he's like, Cameron's an idiot. He has, he has no idea what he's talking about, apparently. So much for street credibility. Right. Not only that, but remember Cameron was also asked a very interesting question. If there was a serial killer living next to you, would you report it? And remember what he said? He said no. He said no because he wouldn't yeah. snitch. Right. This guy, again, filmed by Usala Alim, said, is he out of his mind? If there is a serial killer living next door to you, though, and you know that person is killing people, would you be a snitch if you called police and told I recently seen an interview where this cat, Cameron, said... If he, had, if he lived next door a serial killer, that he wouldn't tell the police. He would just move away. If I knew the serial killer was living next door to me, yeah. no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call and tell anybody on him, but I'd probably move. So what is he saying that he don't give a f- about you or me, that that serial killer could kill your mother, my mother, and he ain't going to say nothing? I'm not going to be around because I don't need to be living around serial killers, but I'm not going to call and be like, Put the signs up like, yo, you know, the serial killers in 48. That mother is out of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the guy who's been, you know, caught on a couple of crimes on tape now in this video got his moral uh, moral fiber all up in the air. He was at least smart enough to wear a mask. Unbelievable. It's just just interesting. All right. Uh, Jen's on. Jen, what's up? Hi. Hi. Um, I was calling because I'm a victim of sexual assault, and listening to him talk about filming one and not saying anything or doing anything to stop it actually makes me sick to my stomach. It drives you nuts. You, you, you think of, of all the things that he caught. Okay, so he, so they pulled some guy out of the car, and they took his car. Big deal. All right, fine. Okay, you can almost you can almost explain that away. Then it went a little worse when he talked about sh- a couple shootings. Some people got shot. But, man, to me, the primal ones seem to be filming the rape and not doing anything about it. That just makes no sense to me. And the fact, I mean, and then, you know, Brother Pope made his statement about him being a disgrace to, you know, black America. Well, I think he's just a disgrace to society as a whole. I I mean, someone who can sit there and watch something that is probably one of the most horrific crimes you can commit and sit there and watch it happen and not do anything to stop it. I mean, and then you guys asked him who he would... um, not want to meet in a dark alley. I'm going to tell you, uh, out of all those criminals, I think I would not want to meet him. Oh, Salah Lim. Yeah. Someone who's going to stand there and not do anything is by far worse than the people who are committing it. Yeah, it's, po- it's possible I, there's something unplugged on the guy, you know? Yeah, and I yeah. hope that he gets charged and goes to prison. It's a good chance that he of it. can get raped in prison and have everybody watch and not do anything about it. All right, Jen, thanks for the call. I was, uh, yeah, as it is. Gutsy call on her part. It's, it's, the, it's the one part of it. It's the one part of it that drove me nuts. I'm like, wow, man, he didn't do anything, huh? Yeah. But he's gonna put it. But he's gonna put it on the uncensored version. Steve's on an Amherst. Steve, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Uh, what's up? Uh, does anybody realize that this sounds exactly like plot from the last episode of Seinfeld? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Without uh, the, the the laugh track or anything like that, or the live stream. Oh, yeah, audience. but it, I mean, it's exact. I mean, they're they're. They they were arrested and put in jail on the last episode because they stood there uh, filming at, on the side of the road a uh, guy getting mugged. And, and they didn't and, do anything about it, and there was that good American law that, that was supposed to have been oh yeah, you're right. yeah, thanks for the call, Steve. <laughs> it, did, it did end on the laugh, though. There's, there doesn't seem to be as much laughter on this one. No. Uh, but but the, the, the girl who filmed uh, the, the beatdown in the subway, 
They're not pressing charges against her. Mind you, he's got a whole different body of work than she does. Yes. Might be a different story, provided he gets to Tahiti first. Sean's on in Hamburg. Sean, Shred and Reagan Show, what's up? Yeah, it's out to Sean from uh, Angola. Yes, yeah, Sean. Uh, yeah, I want to say two things, please, if I could. Sure, go ahead, Sean. One, the guy compares it to the news. Well, there's a difference between the news and what he does. The mm-hmm. news tells the story He's and talks about the crime. Mm-hmm. Okay, second thing, Sean. He yes. pimps. He's pimping this up, basically. Good use of the word he's pimping. He's making money off of it. Yes. Also, he's essentially a bully because he's sitting there watching this happen. You getting effed up. You getting effed up. I'm filming this. You know, I'm getting mm-hmm. off on whatever he's doing. Yes. So overall, I would say, you know, he's just as bad as the guy's doing it. All right. Thank you very much, Sean. That's Sean. He had two things, and he said them, right? He said them. Yes, he did. Dan's on a lockport. Dan, what's going on? Yeah, not much, man. I was just saying, I mean, he's, he's just like taking a spin off of The Condemned. That's all he's doing. Mm. He's taking movies, the videos, and then and, and making it. You know, the, the condemn was pretty much the guy took all the, you know, the guys on death row. They put them on an island and let them point to the death. And in one scene, they, they pretty much, you know, they had a rape scene. And everyone pretty much turned their head because they couldn't watch it and said that they went too far at that point. All you right. Know, so he's just, he's just a hack taking something like that. All right. Thanks, Dan. And this is uh, John. John, Shred Ring Show. What's going on? Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, what's up, John? I, I, I don't know, guys. I just basically, I called in to tell you that I, I can't believe I was sitting here listening to this on the radio. This guy's telling people about... You know, sitting there filming people getting raped and shot and not, you know, I mean, okay, I can understand if you're not going to do anything about it, the guy's got a gun. Yeah, but, I mean, you don't, you, you, after the fact, you don't go and take that video and turn it into the police. I mean, come on, you know. I mean, that's 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 just, he, he should be charged, in, in my opinion, he should be charged with something, accessory to murder if the person dies. Um, just that is that is as bad as, like, everybody else. They said shootings. I don't know if anybody died on this one. Thanks for the call, don't John. Don't know if anybody died, but no. the shootings and rapes and, uh, I mean, some bad bad stuff. I mean, uh, the rape, again, I go back. The worst. To, I go back to the New York City police haven't been able to contact and talk to him yet. But producer, Jack got him. But producer Jack had got him. Interesting. He's guaranteed himself a job in 08. <laughs> 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 All right. We're going to take a break. Coming back, Don Postal's. He's got he's got more news. Hopefully better than this. A little bit.